Hey everyone, welcome back. Glad you're tuned in for some more uh, Beyond All Reason. Got an exciting match for you today. I'm playing as red. I'm one of the coveted colors, red or blue. If you're one of those colors, it means you're the highest ranked player or the highest skilled player on your team. And look at that. I'm right up there at the top of the list. Feels good. I won't say it's because I've been playing well. I mean, yeah, I've been winning games, but uh, honestly, this this was a low skill lobby. So please don't think it's because I'm any good. It's just that these players are still figuring the game out. Although I do recognize another name on my team, Beningin. Looks like an English player. He's my second in command, playing as yellow. And I remember, yeah, in the previous video, he got crushed. It was like uh, 2v1, 3v1. They just rolled into his base with a bunch of bunch of bots and just destroyed him. So I'm hoping, uh, I'm hoping he has a better game this time. He's on my team, so uh, I'm, I'm only hoping for the best for him. You've also got Unity next to me and Storm Billy. And then in our back line, you've got Shinpin, Live, Laugh, LaCroix, Gonzo Nocturnal, and Mertandir. Gonzo Nocturnal, he's saying he's going to tech very quickly to T2 and then start selling T2 bots at right around the five minute mark. So we're going to be sending some metal his way for sure. We want to buy our T2 bot. It's looking like some vehicles up front, though I'm going Bot Lab. And so is Beningin. And that's an interesting choice for Beningin. I really feel like when you go on this lane where you're going to deal with all these canyons, you really want vehicles so you can uh, get artillery out and start shelling into this area. But I don't know. Maybe he's got a plan here. Getting out res bots. He's going to try and grab up some of the metal that's just out laying on the map when it spawns. Yeah, there's just occasional rocks. All that glitters really doesn't have all that much to reclaim on it at least until you start fighting and producing wreckage. So, I don't know. I think the occasional res bot's nice. I don't know about three. That seems like a bit much, but okay, why not? This is a pretty popular map, so I wouldn't be surprised if Beningin has refined his opener for quite some time. So maybe he knows what he's up to. I'm sending out two grunts. I love early grunt aggression. These units can do very well with their little lasers. Let's see if we can't find something. We've got one heading this way and another sort of going through the middle. And look at that, we're finding a construction vehicle from Tempest 905. So we're gonna take some shots there. And it looks like we're running into some ticks over here. We're just gonna zap those down. We'd love to get the construction vehicle, but these are very tanky units. All the like vehicle bots and, uh, yeah, all the construction vehicles and bots, they have a lot of hit points. Yeah, we're gonna have to back away, but we do spot Tempest Commander up here, but his base is down here. So we're just gonna send our We're just gonna send our grunts around and yeah, we're finding metal extractors. We're even finding some random wind uh, turbines that were put down by Radox. And look at this, yeah, we're in the base. There's nothing here to defend it. We're just gonna start blasting. We should really start blasting at this sentry light laser tower, but it's really only a matter of time before he builds uh units from this vehicle plant, but honestly, we could just start destroying the sentry. Eh, looks like my plan is to just destroy his economy. If he wants to build a sentry back here, go for it. Wow, getting a lot out of these two grunts. Yeah, the other team already being like, wow, okay. I like it. Just trying to destroy all these metal extractors. Everyone's advancing forward. They're trying to establish that midline right here. We're hoping to get forward a little more than that. But uh, yeah, we're starting to run into missile trucks from Chi Chi Shorsh. Dang, that's a hard name to say. Looks like it's a German player. The grunts do okay versus the whistlers. It's just I need bigger numbers. We need to swarm those missile trucks, really. And we're finding that injured construction vehicle again. I really wish we could have killed it, but there's much better stuff down here. There were already pawns coming. We're just here to claim all these metal extractors. Hopefully we can destroy everything that's in here, but oh, there's Chi Chi Shorsh. 
Oh, nice. We kill the uh, metal extractor. He'll have to give the order again. Up front, we did put down a vehicle plant. We're going to use that to make incisors. I really like this unit. These incisors are good. In fact, we can see Storm Billy's producing incisors of his own. He's got a decent number here, six of them. Going up against Orcish. Orcish with some rovers. Yeah, the D-guns don't work on other commanders, but it does work taking out those rovers. And these are both very injured. I think these incisors are going to do really well here. I think they're, yeah. Down goes Orcish's commander. Storm Billy needs to come forward and try to claim this wreckage here. Looks like he's going to do it by putting down, yeah, a series of laser turrets right there. Then maybe he can use his commander or an engineer to gather up this 1200 metal. That'd be really nice. We went really far forward with our commander. We want to grab that 3.2 metal extractor, and we're even going to commit some laser turrets to defending it. But we are running into some energy problems. You can see we're we're taking we're, we're dragging way too much out and not producing enough. So we're gonna start, yeah, spamming out these wind turbines and hoping for the best. And yep, here comes Storm Billy just grabbing up the metal. This is his chance. Oh, and he's gonna repair the the turret so it destroys this other one. Wow, good play from Storm Billy. Really well done. And Gonzo Nocturno is saying, I've got my T2 bot lab. I'm ready to sell to whoever wants it. So I'm going to send some metal his way. It looks like Mertandir's doing the same. Live Laugh Lacroix is doing the same. Everybody wants a T2 bot. So Storm Billy, what's he going to do with that uh, metal that he collected? It looks like... It's more incisors. That's a lot of incisors. Each incisor is like 110 metal, so... He could honestly get like 10 or 11 of them from just that wreckage. So yeah, he's just going to pump incisors. He's still got pretty full. Yeah, he's overflowing metal at this point. He needs to get down some uh, construction turrets. A couple more of those. Looks like our energy is starting to stabilize. That's good. And yeah, I'm heading forward with some thugs. We're spreading our units out. Storm Billy sending more incisors in. I really like these incisors. Um, it's a Cortex vehicle. It's only 118 metal. And man, do they have a lot of health. And their little lasers do do good damage. Like, look at them coming forward. There's nothing to stop these. They can just roll into the base. And then the nice part about it is once they roll into a base, they can just keep going. Because they just are so tanky. There's no stopping them. You'll maybe hear like... Or you'll maybe hear the warning that one of your allies is getting attacked. And you'll think, oh, it's just some incisors. I'm sure they'll clean it up. But they're so tanky, they're just going to move right on to the next base. Yeah, look at that. Storm Billy's already thinking, yep, I'm just going to move right on down. Really well done here. Yep, just going to move right along. This is honestly looking like GG. Storm Billy is just accomplishing so much with these incisors. They've got a lot of kills on them. They're high experience. Yeah, they've all got like plus 26 health. Incre increased reload speed. Yeah, these incisors did incredibly well. It's just bought us time to produce our own units yeah, we're getting out some vehicles to try and deal with these Whistlers, but we really need to bring more, maybe some thugs along in here. The vehicles do a great job tanking the Whistler trucks, but we just need some thugs outputting damage to really clear this this area. And this is my this is my front line. I need to kind of secure this and try to push on through down over to Chichi Shore Space. But yeah, we're just going to keep pumping thugs. Things are kind of quieting down. Oh, that beam laser. That beamer is doing great work on these incisors. But here comes another wave of them. I really like these incisors. Uh, and look at that. We've got ticks from Mertandir. They slipped through. Probably through these, these t uh, canyons. And now they're just destroying everything. Oh, never mind. A welder showing up. Just going to zap away those ticks. Welders do great against ticks. 
Ooh, finding more solar collectors on the side here. Would love it if the incisors went for them, but it looks like they're just going to, yep, head right to the back, try and take out Swag Lord back here. He knows he already did some damage back here. Oh, but there's the commander. 1D gun, 2D gun. Maybe another on this guy. Mm, not as effective. Looks like a Janus doing well here. And lots of static defense back here. Definitely delayed Swag Lord's start. Oh, and look at this. I'm coming forward with my commander. This is what I'm talking about. A, a tanky unit up front. And then some thugs in the back outputting the damage. Look at that. The D-guns are just wiping away the Whistlers. And now we can just come forward with all of these units. There's nothing here to stop us. And we'll grab up all this uh, metal, too. We're continuing to produce grave robbers. I think we've got our bot lab on repeat occasionally making, yeah, besides a bunch of thugs, some grave robbers and construction bots. And our energy is definitely balanced, looking good. We did buy that T2 bot. It's upgrading all of our metal extractors back here, and we're getting an advanced bot lab of our own. Oh, wow, look at that. A uh, anti-nuke already going up. And yeah, these vehicles that are coming from my vehicle lab, just the occasional artillery is really helping break some of these defensive structures. And yeah, if we can get rid of this radar, that'd be great. Mm-hmm. There's those grave robbers grabbing everything up. And the enemy team is losing players. They are dropping out. This is going to be a quick game. Yep, the artillery over here already breaking through. Oh, and look at all the artillery landing on... Yeah, I mean, Chi-Chi's already gone. Uh, I think this game's pretty much over. Uh, opposing team was asking for a remake, but we're already 11 minutes in. These people quit because they were losing. They didn't quit because of connection issues. But yeah, I really just wanted to highlight in this game uh, how well the incisors perform. I really think Stormbilly demonstrated just how well they do as units. Just a couple of them can absolutely shred a commander. Uh... Similar to the Janus, all you need is just a couple of them to get a nice surround, and uh, you've got yourself a, a dead commander. And I like that Stormbilly leveraged the dead commander here. I really like how he just sucked up the metal from that and just used it to push out even more incisors. Because he just used that new army to wipe out this base, and then just moved right along and pressured Swaglord into producing defensive structures, which is great. We're just going to go into T2. We're going to get out some rocket bots, and we'll just start bombarding people's bases. There's not much else to this game, so I am probably just going to uh, leave it at that. Uh, opposing team just gets continually frustrated, and uh, then there's some uh, words that shouldn't have been exchanged and some players getting reported, but hope you liked just this short little look at the game. Again, really love incisors. I hope to make them in the future. All right. Hope you enjoyed the game and I will catch you for the next one. See you then.